Hey there, I am Floris, and in this video, I want to talk about one of the features from the CMI plugin. This is a premium resource that offers a dynamic variety of features, and it will help you better operate and manage your spigot or paper servers. By the way, all the links about the stuff we talk about can be found in the description of this video. And if you like this video, and you think it was helpful to you, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment. Hey there, I'm Flores from onemoreblock.com and I'm the author of this little add-on for CMI where you can map old legacy command and aliases from the Essentials X plugin to the more modern CMI plugin. Um, this is a video that shows you a little bit of the stuff behind the scenes and this is for version one build 14, I believe and any newer version should have this as well. So make sure that you got the latest. Um, anyway, we are gonna take a look behind the curtain and show you some of the little tweaks that I've recently added. So if a command exists and you wanna do something with it, for example, slash away goes to CMI AFK and then any parameter added behind it if you want to make this say, oh, please use slash AFK instead, then feel free to edit this and reload the, the file. However, if you wanna automatically say, uh, for example, the command anti awk or something, <laughs> whatever that means, um, if it doesn't exist in CMI, you don't have anything for it, then you can use the internal command no CMI feature and this will automatically run the one at the top here, no CMI feature, which will play a sound, send a message to the player that the legacy command um, anti -oc from Essentials is not a CMI feature yet. And I will show you in the game how that looks in a second. Additionally, it is now possible um, to add a little message behind it. So if you, have TNT and you go, okay, there's no command TNT, but I know how to do this with CMI shoot or CMI spawn mob or whatever you want to use in order to achieve this. Then you can say, oh, uh, learn how to make this with CMI here and then a link to the information. So you can add a little message behind it and I'll show you this in the game in a second as well. Um, and then this line will happen. So if that parameter, the second parameter that we're gonna feed to the command is actually not empty or nil, then message them the information. And this is how it's gonna look like. So when we do away, it will actually use CMI AFK away. So you can also do AFK again to come back. And the other command was the anti -oc one, which doesn't exist. So we get the message, sorry, doesn't exist yet. And now it's automatically included in the message. So when somebody sends a screenshot to the team members saying like, hey, I tried this, I get this message. I've always used, always used it. What am I gonna do? Then now the admin actually knows what command they're talking about because it's in the screenshot. Okay, the TNT one, remember, TNT has this additional message here. So we can just type TNT and we get the same message. However, this time it will have the additional info with a link that should work, which is very cool. Um, so if you have more of these, for example, backup, now you can say, uh, learn how to back up with CMI here. Um, HTTPS uh, google.com. And then if you would reload the plugin, then you can do this one. It will say it doesn't exist. TNT will say that you can do that there. And then backup will say learn how to back up with CMI here. So you can, and we will go through a bunch of these and just add a little message. Okay, a little side note. If you wanna use this over here, you'll notice that it breaks. And that's because it's not enclosed in single quotes. So you can do that 
by putting single quotes at the left and the right, wrapping your text, and then you can see it doesn't break. And then see my reload, and then let's do backup again, and you see it still works. Always test what you have, and ideally always back up what you have as well, of course. So what we're going to do is um, figure out, for example, the bezooka. We don't have this command in CMI, but we know how to make it with CMI should. You can use CMI should to achieve the same effect. Okay, CMI reload, bazooka, and a bezooka, whatever. There you go. So when people get this and we get more and more suggestions and we learn over time how to do things and make little add-ons for it, or at least instructions, we're going to update this little add-on with more of this information. Meaning that in the future, hopefully um, this could actually be a command. If you know how to do it, you can of course also actually do it. She am I shoot uh, B to play a name or something. You can figure this out. You'll have to check the documentation how it works. My point is that you could also actually make it work. So when we have something that we could do with CMI, we'll update the plugin. If we have instructions because it requires more steps, then we'll have a separate document for it. But I think it's really cool that the um, name of the command is now fed at the top here to that message over here it's fed as the first parameter and that if we have more than one parameter that we can include an additional message and we don't have to worry about format or anything else um, we can just add it so we can do this and wrap that in single quotes to make sure it works and release this to GitHub as a new build. If you have customized your own Essentials Commands YML file and we have an update, then just check out the diff, diff the file, so differentiate the file and see what you have plus what has changed and then you can just merge the changes that you like, which is also very effective. If you don't want the second message, that's no problem. You can just delete it. Make sure that the white empty line goes away. And if you want to customize um, the message here to command not found, that is also possible. Now when we do TNT, all we get is command not found. And the white line, the little extra line here, is this one over here, the clean code and then slash n, that's a new line wrapper. So you can remove that and then see my reload, TNT, and now it's just on one line. So this is very customizable and also very dynamic and we don't even have to restart the server. It's just fantastic. Um, Essentials has a lot of aliases and a lot of commands and um, CMI as well, but <laughs> sometimes a bunch of them that aren't in alias YML are still being used by players. Some people are just used to typing E away for some reason and now you can still add it to your server. Okay, final note. If you go to your alias editor and you don't want that um, E away or whatever, you can of course click on delete and remove it from the list. But as you can see, we have basically 475 of all of these. So here's E away. You can also edit things in game, of course. You can customize this how you like. Just add your own thing, save it and it will be there. You can even run multiple commands. So let's say we're gonna do the TNT one. We have this one here and then we want to add another one, message, player name, boom. So now when we do TNT, we have command not found, but it does say boom. 
and this is how it looks like when we delete something you click on it and then you click to confirm and now we are left with only one message all right that's enough information for just this little file the latest update has all this dynamic stuff over here and all these extra messages so i think that is pretty cool um, i hope this is something that people like if so don't forget to like the video and if you have any suggestions please use github but feel free to leave a comment on the video as well of course and if you've moved from essentials and people have been complaining that their old command doesn't work you can at least uh, pick up that one command and move it over to your own alias file oh and in case people want to know how to install it um, you grab the file from github and you go to your server to your plugins directory to cmi where there is a directory called custom alias and you just plunk it in here together with the rest and then you do cmi reload and it loads in all the 475 commands so you don't even have to stop and start the server however the commands will show red they will work but they will show red until you do the first restart of the server then they can get properly registered all right that's everything i wanted to say about this little add-on and just as always when you record something in minecraft it's raining <laughs> which will do wonders for the bitrate i'm sure um enjoy the little plugin and if you have more questions about cmi um the crips.net website has a discord link as well as the github page for this add-on so join discord pick a role and come to the help channel for cmi and post your question community members will be there to um, hopefully assist you all right thank you for watching and see you guys in another cmi video bye bye